Transmigration of Souls, uh, work of John Adams, resulted from a commission by the New York Philharmonic to commemorate the first anniversary of the 9-11 attacks. It is a work that Adams specifically says is not a 9-11 piece. It is a work that is meant to transcend that great tragedy uh, and to create what Adams calls a memory space for people to process great tragedies, and that could be any great tragedy that, that people uh, experience. But it also seemed to me important to bring the work to New York because it has only been done one other time since its premiere in 2002. And now that we're 14 years after the events of 9-11, I think it is now an appropriate time uh, as the events go further into our collective history uh, for us to begin trying to think about and process this event uh, in, a, in a larger historical fashion. Paul Hindemith's setting of the great Whitman elegy, When Lilacs Last in the Dooryard Bloomed, is a work that is a very important work from the mid 20th century. He went to probably the most uniquely American poet, Walt Whitman, uh, as inspiration for this text. Lo, body and soul, this land, mighty Manhattan with spires, and the sparkling and hurrying tides, and the ships. The varied and ample land, the south and the north in the light. Lo, the most excellent sun, so calm and haughty, the violet and purple morn with just felt breezes. And Hindemith found a, uh, a kind of an interesting relationship between the events that had just passed in his lifetime, uh, the death of FDR uh, on the cusp of victory of the Second World War, uh, and, re and saw the relationship in Whitman's elegy to Lincoln, who was assassinated right on the cusp of the victory of the Civil War. Uh, these works together I think have a very clear logic to why they should be together because the concert is not about memorializing a tragedy. The concert is about allowing a healing process to begin and allowing people the space to think about that healing process and letting it happen. Our audiences will have a very special and unique opportunity to hear these two wonderful and very important works live. It's a rare opportunity that you won't want to miss.